Bon Johnning. Today we're going to go through the Visas Opod. Just one ship today. So to keep the times down, recording times. And the Visas Opod is a data runner ship. And this, we take a quick look, is it. Not that one there, silly. This one. Yeah, this is it. And uh, Visus Opod, what does that mean, Visus? Well, uh, that is, yeah, the uh, Ooster manufacturer of ships. Visus are the Oosters. All right, so that means if you're Ooster crew, uh, then you're going to be more proficient, or you're going to be able to fly this thing a lot more easily. You don't have to gain the skills over time. You just jump straight in and you'll uh, have a good idea of the tech. The Visus Opod is currently the only data running ship available at Star Atlas Marketplace. However, before you go and buy, not financial advice, uh, take a look at the Gal brochure. Let's bring this up. Now remember, 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 the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason, and plot. That's right, it's coming up to Bonfire Night, where we celebrate the burning of Guy Fawkes. Stop him from blowing up Parliament. Yep, every year that's what we Brits do. We make a... Uh, we make a... <laughs> make a bonfire. The kids make a little... Um, a little character of a person out of straw. And then uh, it's very nice. Uh, some, some, you know, I think they still do it in some villages now. You'll go around, um, you take your straw Guy Fawkes man, um, take him around the village, and people will give you some money for, for your creation. And uh, not everyone still does that part, but uh, we then throw him on the fire and burn him. And, that, and then we celebrate and have fireworks. That's bonfire night. And that's what all of us grow up doing every year. Uh, if you've seen V for Vendetta, very, very, very similar. That's the that's kind of the story there. But this was back in uh, centuries ago. Anyway, uh, yeah, well, there we go. It's coming up to 5th of November. Uh, right, so, data runners. Yeah, so uh, we've got the Opod. Now, look, we've got Opal Rayfam is coming out. Sometime soon. This is the Gal Brochure 2. So we can expect to see a small data runner in the $15 to $1,200 range. We can also see... Excuse me. Uh, we can also see medium and large ships. We've got the Fimble Bios Ranger. Medium data runner. Um, any more, any more, any more. Uh, looks like we've got a couple of large multi-rolls coming out as well, which, um, you know, let, don't rule them out. They could be Explorer slash uh, Data Runner, but yeah. Fimble Bios Ranger is specifically Data Runner. Uh, and that's it, it seems. That is it. So we're going to have a little more choice coming up. Um, the only thing, I guess, to consider is this one is already out. And uh, so if we take a look at the supply this was one of the first ships to come out i think it came out with um came out with the x5 i think and the opal jet i think um so september the 7th 2021 what a fantastic day that was when this was released i was there at my laptop oh very exciting uh and i got myself one so they uh they sold uh, they released some for 1500 USDC. I can't remember which one I uh, which one I got in at. I probably got in at the 1800 to be honest. Um, and then uh, yeah, the rest of the supply was uh, uh, 1800. And you can see here on the 3rd of September there were some that were airdropped, and that was for the rewards poster. Uh, if you got the up to the certain level tier on the rewards, I think it was uh, tier three or something like that on buying the posters then you got one of these airdropped to you. Now, if we take a look at the marketplace, so from that 1500 1800 let's take a look at the price now. 
You can see here one selling for 735 USDC. That is a far cry from its origination price. And I'm sat here miserable because, hey, I could have bought one today instead of back in September the 7th. <laughs> but that's not uh, any sort of financial advice or guidance or anything like that. We're not talking finances here. We're just uh, observing, aren't we? Not financial advice. Shh. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, total supply of 1,900 of these. So that's classed as a rare, rare rarity. This is the Visus Opod. It's a data runner, a medium class ship, 27.6 meters wide, 20.8 meters high, and 44 meters long. Let's take a little zip around. Get that out of the get, 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 get out of the way. Take a little zip around this ship. Um, and then we'll compare it to some pictures also. Because there are a couple of changes that I have noticed. Nothing gets past this eye. My hawk eyes. A couple of a couple of changes. Look at all this. Uh, look at how large it is on the rear end. And just a tiny little... Um, Little access hanger hatch. We'll take a closer look later. Uh, now let's go back to the explorer. <laughs> Explorer.staratlas.club. Link down below. Uh, so, description. Description. The Visus Opod is a stealthy data validation vessel with robust living quarters and well-rounded starship amenities. Highly robust scanning radars, antennae, antenna, <laughs> surveillance equipment, and packed with explorer drones make this ship a favorite for small deep space explorer crews looking to trade in information with rare and valuable data. There we go. It's got it all there. There's no need for me to explain it further. Uh, however, what about this uh, packed with Explorer drones? That's an interesting one because on here, let's take a look. Look, 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 look. I reckon these here, if you follow my, my dot in the center of the screen, beep, here I think is an Explorer drone and then here is one also. I think I could be wrong. And here is possibly another one, you see? Yeah. Um, why do I think that? Well, give me a minute, I'll tell you. Goodness me. Uh, there's another one there. And then you see here those two as well. Now, let's take a look at the gallery. Uh, no, not the gallery. Uh, I've got some more images. I'm just going to cycle through. I'm not going to reveal them all. I'm just going to cycle through these first and then get this back up. Uh... uh where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Yeah. Okay, here it is. So I'll zoom in here. Get my face off. So drones. There you go. Look, pointing at drones. But they're in a they're in a slightly different position. So there's been some changes along the way. But there you go. There's some drones there. And then also if we go to this image here, you can see you can see them. So that's uh six drones there. Now that's changed because on the on here they're just in a different position, aren't they? Just different. Yeah. Nice comparison there. Now, what else is different? I'm looking straight at it. These uh these landing feet. If we take a look at some images. Ooh. Uh now if we take a look at some images here. Yeah. Here, look. We don't have... Uh, open that in a new tab. There's no landing feet there on the rear. It's just the uh, just the front, uh, the forward singular one, and then the wings fold down, and uh, they are the support. Now, on here... There we go. Now, on here... We can see there's some feet added, and the wings are not rotated down. However, I think they still do, because you can see here, this uh, mechanism here, it looks like that would rotate. 
Yeah. Same, uh, same on this side also. Oh, look. Hey, there's an extra drone there. So what's that? Is that eight drones? Not six? There's another one there. I'm sure that's a drone, isn't it? Hey, hey hiding. Yeah, so maybe there's, uh, maybe there's eight of them. Let me know if you've counted any more, if you've spotted any more. Um, and going back to that image, you can see also here, look, data collection um, antenna. Uh, stealth also. Uh, I'm not sure what these are on the wings here, but probably some sort of uh, air antenna antennas. And then you can see observation platform. So, not sure exactly what that means. Does that mean, because, I mean, look at it compared to the size of the character here. Yeah, that, that, that ooster there. Does it mean that you can go inside these and have a look through the windows? And, and uh, or, or are these cameras or what? But they're, they're calling them observation platforms. Ooh, picture taken. So, let's just uh, get out of the way and have a look on here. You can't really see much, but there we, there we have it. Where's, uh, where's she gone? Let's bring her in. Ah, well, now that shows a, a different scale. That shows a different scale, doesn't it? But you could still kind of fit in there. If that is an observation platform, there's one there, there's one here, and there's one here. But I would, I would imagine it's more likely they are uh, some scanners or cameras. But let's wait and see. Everything is subject to change. And uh, then we got some, maybe some more sensors and things at the front here. And you can see some weapons also coming around here. These are some weapons. Quite puny looking, aren't they? Nothing special. But at least you can defend yourself and get out quick when you're exploring around or scavenging, harvesting data. Here we can see the forward end of the ship, the cockpit. And we go above, have a look at the, the shape of this ship. It's very funky, funky looking. Um, now we can, we, well we can't go inside, but we can. Oh yeah, there's another one of those uh, observation deck type of round things there at the, at the aft as well. So yeah. Probably more like cameras and sensors. Take a look here, look. I can just kind of go inside a little bit. Just a little bit. You can't see much, but ah, here we go. You can see down here. You see that? It looks like a ladder. Um, and I think that is a elevator shaft that would take you up to, uh, uh, to the captain's chair. Let's... Um, Let's take a closer look at the images for that one. Oh, there we go. There it is. It's nice. Oh, some different skins for it. Here you can see the structure. Very nice. nice. Always nice to see that level of detail. Yeah, here's a. Uh, you can see there's a captain's a captain's chair. There's like two flight decks. There's like the captain's deck up here. And then, you see, up there, 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 see? Let's open that up in uh, its own image. Yeah, so upstairs we have the captain, and then downstairs we have two more seats, a uh, pilot and co-pilot. And uh, that's what that elevator shaft is going up to. There, you can see that elevator shaft now. So the captain would get on there, and he'd go up to, uh, to his, his chair. Very nice. Take a look at the slots. So this is a medium ship, let's remember that. So it has a medium power supply, medium warp drive, medium radar, tractor beam, shield generator, impulse engine, maneuvering thruster, three medium weapon hardpoints, uh, one medium missile bay, a medium countermeasure, medium hull reinforcement. So we've got the captain, pilot, co-pilot, engineer, and a cargo foreman. Cargo foreman, you may say. Yeah. So modules, we've got a data rack, a medium, a medium drone port, which we've seen the drones, and then a smuggle cargo, small smuggle cargo. That's interesting. That's the only ship currently in the whole of Star Atlas that we've seen that has this one. 
uh, and then one small scanner. So, not sure where the sm smuggled cargo hold is. It's difficult to really see from these images where that would be. Um, also, on uh, on the uh, uh, UE5 version, it's difficult to, to see where that could be. Um, and what's the reason for a smuggled cargo slot? I'd imagine maybe if you're going between factions or different territories, um, either you, you don't you could sell something you don't have to pay tax on it or I'm, I'm not sure not sure but um, it's probably something to do with tax or maybe there are some restricted items or uh, like boosters type of thing um, that might be illegal and you can smuggle them in from the high risk zone and it gives uh, the buyer a little boost in game maybe uh, we'll just have to wait and see I guess now I do have uh, some uh, some more images to show you. We'll just go back to, to this one here. And we'll cycle through them. It's just stuff that we've collected, the club's collected over over time. Uh, there's the blueprints there. there was, yeah, we've seen that one already. Come on. Uh, well, so we've got this one, haven't we? This is on Star Atlas's YouTube channel. Just head over to, uh, or type in, well, yeah, Star Atlas on YouTube. This... I'll just turn off the sound. This, if you remember, everyone was crying because uh, it's the title, Star Atlas Pre-Alpha Gameplay Footage, and everyone was like, uh, but it's not gameplay footage. <laughs> it's obviously not. And look at it. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. I guess because the camera angles uh, make it look like a cinematic kind of view. Um, but let's pause it there. Take a look around. Take a look around. It is game. This is gameplay footage. Look at it. It's beautiful. I mean, okay, the uh, the grass and stuff isn't moving at all, like it was in the uh, in that video. We can look back, but we just take it for granted now. Now that the showroom is released, we just take all this uh, amazing graphics for granted. But yeah. This caused, caused quite a stir. Quite uh, Everyone was up in arms. But, 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 it's not gameplay footage. Now, I think the changes, there's a reason for the changes. Um, I understand, I could be wrong, but uh, let me know if I'm wrong. But I understand the, um, the artist that was creating this got poached or has moved on or something. <laughs> so this used to be one of the, the first ships that looked like it was going to be finished. But now it's been pushed back because I think they need to find another artist to get on the case. And, uh, yeah, so the feet are coming out of the wings here. Very strange. They're not in the showroom version. But a very nice looking ship. Obviously, it's got vertical takeoff and landing because uh, we've just demonstrated it here. So no need for a runway. Now, the next one. Here's a, an image inside. You can see. A work in progress. This is it being kitted out. We've got another one also. Here, look. So here you can see this uh, elevator. Elevator shaft kind of thing. So the elevator comes up to the first deck. You can get out, get to the, um, get to the pilot and co-pilot's chair. And then it can go all the way up to the captain's chair uh, deck. And um, now let's... Let's see. I, I'm i going to make a little prediction here. If I just go uh, go back here. Now, let's check inside. Oh, you see inside here, the top of that elevator. Top of that elevator, it looks like some sort of hold, maybe. It's just a big block, isn't it? You can't really see much. That could be the smuggle cargo space. Or... Maybe it's not at all, actually. <laughs> oh, maybe it's not at all, actually. It looks like it's just the uh, the elevator comes up and goes in there, doesn't it? No, oh, okay, okay. Well, that's that idea scuppered. Not sure where all this cargo is going to be smuggled. Maybe it's just uh, you know, on the Millennium Falcon, uh, the deck plates come up and there's just some storage area. Maybe it's maybe it's like that. Oh, photo taken. No need for that. Stop taking photos. Uh, okay, let's go back. Uh, another more images. 
Very pretty. I like this. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's the uh, the access hatch. You can see uh, opening, closing. You can also see the movement of the wings, uh, the mechanism there. So that's how this uh, rear uh, hatch door opens and closes. Very nice. Really cool. Uh, this is showing the uh, the old position of the drones and the wings in the up and down position. There, we've seen that one already. And there we go. So that's the Visus Opod. A fantastic ship for a small crew that's interested in exploring around, sending off uh, drones and finding all of these uh, maybe space uh, cosmic anomalies uh, and harvesting data and selling that on to buyers. Could be quite a lucrative... Uh, career path in game. Hey, that's not financial advice. But let me know what you think. Uh, would you would you buy this now, or would you wait for the next data runners to come out from the Gal brochure too? Um, let me know. Uh, Lloyd, just before you go, please, uh, please, uh, please like, subscribe, and please leave a comment. Oh, thank you very much, Percy. You always got my back. I like that. Yes. Okay. Thanks, everyone, and ciao for now.